In this video, I will consider one numerical on loop analysis or mesh analysis. Determine V2 which results in zero current in 8 ohm register using mesh analysis. This is the given circuit. Here we suppose to calculate V2 which is unknown and it is also said that the current through 8 ohm register is zero. We suppose to solve it using mesh analysis. So let me mark the loop current first. Here we have three loops. Let me assume current through this loop is say x. Let me assume current through this loop is y. And let me assume current through this loop is say z. Now apply KVL to each loop. That is apply KVL to loop x. Here it is said that current through 8 ohm register is 0. It means according to the definition current through 8 ohm register is 0. So in this circuit current through 8 ohm register is y. Therefore y is equal to 0. Now apply KVL to this loop x. So I can say this is the voltage source. Keep voltage source on left hand side. 50 is equal to voltage across pi ohm register is pi into x plus voltage across Inductive reactance is J2 X minus Y that is X minus Y. So here Y value is 0. So I can write 50 is equal to 5 X plus this Y is 0. So it will be J2 X. So I can write 50 is equal to X is the current. I will take it as common 5 plus J2. So I can write X is equal to 50 divided by y plus j2 let me call it as equation 1 now similarly apply kvl to loop y so now apply kvl to loop y so there is no any voltage sources i can write 0 is equal to voltage drop across this is 8y voltage drop across this is minus j2 we have y plus z as both are in same direction y plus z plus voltage across this is j2 we have y minus x y minus x so let me simplify this further so it is said that y is equal to 0 so i can write 8y this is 0 minus j2 y that will become 0 so only z term will be there that is j2 z plus here z2 y y value is 0 so only x term that is minus j2 x that is i can write minus j2 x or i can write it as or i can write it as minus j2 z is equal to j2 x so here j2 j2 will get cancelled i can write minus z is equal to x now similarly apply kvl to loop z that is let me apply apply kvl to loop z so start from voltage source keep voltage source on left hand side v2 is equal to we have voltage drop across 2 ohm register is 2z plus voltage drop across minus j2 is minus j2 so voltage drop across minus j2 is minus j2 we have z plus y so y value is 0 i can write v2 is equal to 2z minus j2z or i can write v2 is equal to z in bracket 2 minus j2 or i can write v2 is equal to so here j2 z is nothing but x so i can write z is nothing but minus x 2 minus j2 further i can write it as v2 is equal to so already we have found x value that is 50 divided by 5 plus j2 that is minus 50 divided by 5 plus j2 we have into 2 minus j2 this is 2 minus j2 so let me simplify this v2 is equal to v2 is equal to minus 
टेन पॉइंट थ्री फोर प्लस जे वी हैव ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट वन थ्री लेट मी कीप द वैल्यू इन पोलर फॉर्म इन पोलर फॉर्म द वैल्यू इज बी टू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट ट्वेंटी सिक्स at an angle of 113.19 volts so this is the required result thank you for watching